Okay, so let's install PHP on a Windows environment. Launch a web browser and visit php.net. And I'm going to click on Downloads. And we're going to look for the Windows download link. I'll make this screen a little bit bigger. You want to scroll down and we're going to look for the one that says non-thread safe. Uh, I'm going to download this zip file here. That'll take a few seconds to download. So we'll open up that file. Double click on that. And you'll see there's a bunch of files in there. Lots and lots of things that we need. Okay. So what I suggest you do is extract all. And we're going to create a new folder called PHP. Okay. So I'm at the moment, I'm just putting it in my downloads folder into a folder called PHP. Okay, so if I go back to my downloads folder, there's the extracted version and there's the zip file. We can get rid of the zip file now, so we can delete that. Double click on the PHP folder. You'll see there's lots of stuff in here. And it's this is the executable that we're going to use when we run it on the command prompt. Okay, now you can put this PHP folder anywhere on your machine. It's entirely up to you. I like to put it on my C drive because it just makes my life a little bit easier, but you might not have access to your C drive if you're using a work machine. So I'll leave that up to you. So I'm just going to open up a new window and I'm going to navigate to my C drive. Okay, now this is where I'm going to put my PHP folder. Now, I've got PHP on my machine, and if I go back to my command prompt and type in PHP, it's still not going to work. And that's because I need to set the environmental variable to, to get Windows to look inside this folder. Okay, now the way we do that, let me close these things down to make it a bit easier. There are a number of ways that we can do it, but the quickest way is just to click on Windows, and type in the word environmental variables. And we're going to click on this link here. And then we're going to click on this link here. Now, if you can't access that in Windows, there's another way of accessing it. Right click on this PC and select properties. And then advanced system settings. And you get to the same place as that we were before. And then we're going to click on environmental variables. Now in here, uh, yours will look a little bit different, but the one we're looking for at the top is user variables for your username. And we're looking for this one that says path and double click on it. And then we're going to click on new. I'm going to type in the address to the location of our PHP directory. So in my case, it's C colon backslash PHP. All right. Click OK. And then what we need to do is start a new command prompt. So I'm going to close this one down and launch another command prompt. I'm going to type PHP minus V. And it tells us that PHP 7.4.6 is now installed and ready to go.